In this video, we're going to talk about Henry's Law. Henry's Law describes how pressure can affect the ability of a gas to dissolve in water. I'm sure that you've heard the sound of gas escaping from a bottle of pop when you twist the cap. If you were to leave the bottle of the pop uncapped for a while, you'd find that the pop would go flat. The reason is because gases, like carbon dioxide in the pop, are more soluble when they are under high pressure. So when the pressure decreases, the gas's ability to dissolve also decreases. And that's Henry's Law. Now Henry's Law relates solubility and pressure with this equation. This is an equation that relates an initial condition, so a solubility of a gas compared to a pressure, to a different set of conditions. If we, for example, change the pressure of a gas, we can then calculate its new solubility. Solubility is usually measured in grams per liter. That is, the grams of gas per liter of solution. Let's look at an example of a problem. This problem says the solubility of a gas at 0 0.90 grams per liter at a pressure of 121 kilopascals. It says what is the solubility of the gas at if the pressure was decreased to 104 kilopascals. With any word problem that I solve, I like to underline the given information in green and what the question is asking for in red. Then I like to list the data with the correct symbol. I'm going to leave a question mark for S2. That's representing the new solubility of the gas. Next thing I like to do is write in the equation that I'm going to use. I'm going to use Henry's Law. I'm going to be solving for S2 right here up on the top. And so I'm going to rearrange the equation so that S2 is all by itself on the right side of the equation. To do that, I'm just going to move P2 to the other side of the equation. And just a little trick, if you have something on the bottom on one side of the equation, you can just move it up to the top on the other side of the equation. And so my equation becomes S1 times P2 divided by P1. Let's go ahead and plug in the numbers. And now we can plug everything into our calculator and solve for S2. And we find that the new solubility of the gas is going to be equal to 0 0.746 grams per liter. And that's Henry's Law.